Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I am going to go over a coin called Polka Dot. I like to go over Polka Dot sometimes. I keep track of it just because uh, Polka Dot can actually be pretty good little uh, trades from time to time. You can get into it. It's kind of, it's it's a safe, oh, for cryptocurrency, if you will, it's kind of a safe. It's kind of like, uh, it's almost safer than Bitcoin in my opinion sometimes, guys. You know, you can get into like pumps like that, maybe little pumps like that. And then the downside risk with Polkadot is not crazy uh, as of recently, like the other coins. That's what's interesting about that. Also, too, what I like to do with uh, Polkadot is uh, Polkadot and Bitcoin kind of flow together a little bit. It's uh, it's strange to me, but they do in a way. So I want to go over Polkadot, show you guys some stuff that I'm looking at for potential trade coming up for Polkadot. Um, you can either go short on it or or long wherever you go short here because you got a bear flag if it pops up there you can do a short down to here because i think polka dot is going to go from here to here potentially um the deal is with polka dot it doesn't move that quick either it just kind of takes its time especially recently since i think polka dot is uh finding a bottom but more more than likely you got your bear flag uh target that you can take with good old polka dot here you can take it you wouldn't go here go just kind of like that which is right in that area about 490 according to that bear flag or you can take that whole leg if you'd like and get an, another even further idea which is more like down to about 460 480 490 ish on that in case it goes the whole length of that leg okay and it could and then this is polka dot coming down. I think it's going to come, possibly might pop back up and then come back down and make a nice little wave sequence like this. Okay. So like this. And this is the four. And then back down for a five. Just like so. So three wave up, up for a two. And then back three. Up for that four. And then back down for this five. And it could be way over here, guys, like so. Okay. And then the overall trend with polka dot. Let's go out here to a three-day chart. I'll show you. Okay. It's coming through there. Is that polka dot is making a five-wave sequence all the way down. Here's your third lowest peak right there. And see coming up in this divergence right there, this bullish divergence. Let's bring it right down. And polka dot has a three-wave move right here. You see this? So that has to be a B wave. And if that's a B wave and this is a five wave, then this here is three, three, five. And I would be checking out this target right here with polka dot. Let me clear this up for you and show you right there at 1.618 or about $4.30 more or less with polka dot okay make sure you got that all the way down the wick say right in that area guys for for polka dot okay so here's a b and then c all the way right down there and then this whole thing with polka dots a correction so polka dots pretty much been in a correction since may of 21 and that could be the end of it for polka dot come out of its correction. There's some other coins I've been looking at that done some uh, similar moves. I'll do a video about that tomorrow that I think it's popped out of its correction and it's already whizzing out of there pretty good. So that right there is something I'm going to be checking out when it comes down. So what does Bitcoin have to do? Go back over this. I got two on there. Just a second. Now let me go. Let me go over to Bitcoin. Oh, but Bitcoin's pumping a little bit. Here's Bitcoin in a similar type pattern. And then you can take this, if you like, and go like that or like that. And you can see about 14.5, okay? Or it could go deeper. It might go the whole length of that. I don't think so. I think this is going to be a fourth wave. So I think this may be more accurate of a dump for, 
for Bitcoin, or you could go like that, like 14,000, 14.2 to 14.3 or something like that. Boom. And then down here, same thing with uh, Polkadot that I'm checking out, guys. So about another, let's say from where it is right now, Polkadot could have another 15%, maybe a 20% drop somewhere in that area. Okay. And then it comes down here with polka dot. And you see it on this trend, that 1.618 target, which is right in this area that I have this gray sh uh, shaded out area. And if you want to be on the safe side, you just wait for polka dot to make these moves out of here. And then you catch it on this, on this move, if you'd like catch it on this. Okay. Basically it come up probably correct down to here, to here, to here, or somewhere in that area. And then you catch it on that wave. That's what I would do. That's what I'd be looking for polka dot. Um, just to see, you know, that's what I would probably do. Be checking out with polka dot to see if it's going to hit these targets, these numbers, and then the reaction out of there, see what's got going on. You know, if you don't want to buy the dip, which is usually not recommended be catching a fallen knife is not so good, but wait for that reaction off the bottom and the shape that it's making to come down in this diagonal type move that uh, looks like polka dots doing to finish it off. Now go to the weekly chart and check it out. And you get your RSI right here. Third wave peak, which is right there and coming down that fifth wave with that bullish divergence. And then the uh, MACD already has bullish cross. Let's go to the two, two uh, 10 day and check the uh, 10 day already has a bullish cross. Two week is just getting ready to do it right there. And you have um, bullish divergence right there on the MACD. So maybe that's the uh, where it's going to end right there, possibly. Maybe that's telling us something right there. Maybe the end of it. I just don't see it going. I mean, if it's, if, you know, this is going to be all doom, 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 then. You know, polka dot, you know where it's going to end up down here. You know, below the red line for polka dot is uh, not good, guys. Not good. That $2.70, I don't think it's going to do that, though. If you made all the way to the end, do me a huge favor. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Peace.